We have. Foreman, will you please read the verdict? On the charge of arson, contrary to section 14 of the penal code, we find the accused guilty. <laughs> On the second count of murder, contrary to section five of the penal code, we find the accused not guilty. Quiet or I clear the court. Julie McCullough, you have been found guilty of arson. The sentence prescribed by law is that you serve three years. However, given your age and the extended length of time that you have spent in custody, which under different circumstances would have made you eligible for parole, I'm going to order your immediate release. There is one condition. You must leave this country within the next 24 hours. Do you agree? We agree, Your Honor. Very well. Congratulations, Antonio. Thank you. Do you know, I was just trying to recall why it was that I fought so hard for you to take this case. It's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't quite remember. It's maddening. At the time, I got the impression you thought you might be innocent. Ah, that. My mistake, then. Look, I'm, uh... I'm going to the country next weekend. Would you like to join me? No more surprises. No. No more surprises. I'll call you. Is there any way? I oh, know. Padovani made it absolutely clear she's got to leave today. I'm not sure that's a good idea. I don't understand. Nothing's changed for her. Everything's exactly the way it was when all this started. She watched her mother die and couldn't do anything about it. The trial hasn't absolved her of that. Well, she tried to save her. Doesn't matter. The guilt's still there. Look, Gabrielli proved her innocent in court. <sighs> Can a blind man lead a blind man? Will they both not fall into a pit? How come they only print the ones that make you look deranged? Because that's what they do. I think it's time you should start getting your things together, don't you? I just wanted to say... Please. You don't have to thank me anymore. Jay McCulloch. Yeah, Julie McCulloch, M double C U double L O U G H. No, it has to be today. That's it, that's it. What time does it arrive? Good, that's fine. Thank you very much.
Yeah. What's wrong? It's nothing. Tell me. Please. Sarah. Sarah's accident, it was my fault. I was driving. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I understand. I understand how you feel. I know that guilt. I mean, I can't help thinking if I hadn't thrown that brick, my mum might still be alive. You can't blame yourself. Neither should you. I shall always be. Julie McCulloch is a cheat and a liar. Of a fascination with fire. Do you always tell the truth? I came here as a man. What's going to happen to me now? How old were She's you? She's dead. When your mother died, and how did she die? You lied to me, which is unforgivable. She died in a fire. Are you doing these things? I'm scared. Do you believe your client is mad? Good. It had nothing to do with me. Is that your wife? She is. I believed in her, for God's sake. I defend the line. It was my fault I was driving. She lied. Just follow that horizon Into another time So many questions out there You will find yeah.
they're nothing more than pictures in your mind. Over the hills and far away, into a land unknown. That's where she'll run. From time to time To a place where she feels at home There's no rhyme or reason To where she lives 